Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. I want to redo the, uh, the video I did yesterday about the biological process of multiple sclerosis and exacerbations or MS attacks. It was a little confusing and I just couldn't live with that, so I'm going to delete the other one. Um, in order for us to understand how attacks happen or, or how we have response, you got to know a couple of the basic players in the immune response. First of all, um, when we're fetuses and we're developing, our bodies create antibodies. Antibodies, you've heard that. Well, antibodies is exactly the way it sounds. They are cells developed to uh, uh, recognize anything that is not your body. They're antibodies or police cells. These antibodies were created by our B cells and have been designed to recognize our own DNA. So it's kind of like cops going to police school and, uh, and being taught who the friendly guys are and who the criminals are. This is important because it prevents these antibodies from destroying our own bodies or, or friendly fire. You don't want these police antibodies uh, uh, destroying other antibodies, right? Or cops shooting cops, right? So they can do their job by recognizing antigens. Antigens are harmful germs or invaders that don't contain our DNA. While in our case with MS, our body doesn't recognize the DNA in the myelin. So so these antibody police cells circulate through our body searching for antigens or invader cells. All right, so once the antibodies, antibodies or the police cells, find antigens or invader cells, um, the antibodies group on to the antigen and uh, they call for backup assassination team to destroy the invader. So uh, um, they sequester uh, the bad guys and they basically uh, they, they call in the, the support team. Anyway, now to tell you the MS exacerbation stories. Our bodies have B cells that are made, made B cells that make Y-shaped antibodies that recognize the myelin sheath as being an antigen or bad guy. These antigens bind to the area of the myelin that doesn't recognize that it doesn't recognize as having the same DNA and destroys it, leaving an MS lesion. Or a whole the faulty just for your information, the faulty protein that our body sees as foreign is uh, it's called C D twenty. Well, this is the short version and hopefully it's not as convoluted. Please subscribe, log on to Facebook and friend me and uh, let me know you saw this video and I'll add you to our private MS Frontiers uh, uh, group. Nobody knows you have MS in that group except for the group members. Um, I pray for you. Thank you for watching and keep coming back.